Ah, had enough? <laughs> oh, there's no need for that. Bionair window fans are the greatest, except for that darn beeper that keeps beeping every time you push a button. But I'm on my second Bionair window fan now, and I've got the quickest, easiest, most comprehensive method with no soldering, no removing circuit boards that'll have your Bionair window fan silenced in moments. Let's get started. The first thing is, of course, unplug the power, okay? Make sure that you unplug that. You don't want to be opening up this up. Now, as a lot of people have noted, the tricky thing is not removing the seven screws. Those are just around here. All right, just remove all those screws. I'm not going to show you how to do that. There are seven of them, so so take all the all the screws out of this out of this brown grill here. The tricky part is these fiendishly difficult little clips that hold on this little accordion thing here. Well, um, that hold that in place. Okay, now have a look at how these are made here. Have a look there. See how they've got a clip on the inside and a clip on the outside. Uh -huh. That means that you have to push this out at the same time that you push that in. <laughs> it's kind of hard. Okay, now note here, I've already taken them out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I can't show you, and I only have one hand uh, that, that I can show you this with. So what I did is I took advantage of how I can put, I can access you see, I can press down this part of it here when it's inside here, see? see? So notice that you can also get to it here. You can, you can push on it here to push it toward the center. And also, if you have something like a flat blade screwdriver or this marvelous little mini crowbar, you can get in there and depress that. And if you just work it loose, as soon as you get one of the edges out, then the other one's very easy. Uh, this is this is this is the hardest part of the whole operation. Again, notice how you have to push this part out at the same time that you depress this part here. Okay, it's got those two uh, those two catches on there. Now, with the seven screws and the two clips removed, you can take off the back. Take off the cover for the electronics. And there's the circuit board. Right here is our enemy. That round disc there is the obnoxious beeper that we are going to disable. Now, you have two choices. You have the cowboy method and the ninja method. The cowboy method is to destroy that capacitor there. It's labeled C10, C10. That means it's a surface mount capacitor, uh, thereby breaking the circuit. The other uh, gentler way, I guess, <laughs> is to get out your ninja katana and cut right there or right there in a way that interrupts the current to the either one, just one of them, either one of the terminals of the beeper. Okay, now here's the cowboy approach. We go in to C10 and with a pair of needle nose pliers and crush and destroy that component. Now I have executed both the ninja and the cowboy method. I crushed and removed capacitor C10 I actually do not recommend that. Without uh, being able to clean it up with a soldering iron and stuff like that, it, it's not for amateurs. You gotta have a soldering iron. If you got a soldering iron, you can remove C10 and that might be the way to go. If you don't have a soldering iron and all you have is a uh, ninja sword, then I, I chose to cut it right here, this white place, where I cut away the copper so it breaks the circuit to this terminal of the buzzer. So there, now the mod is done and we can reassemble the unit. When you put this accordion back on, make sure to clip it over these retaining clips here so that when you pull it out, it stretches like this, right? Don't want it 
unhook so it goes like that. So hook it on there. There. Okay. It's back on. Now I have all seven screws put back in. Don't turn them too tightly. They, um, it's just plastic. They might go all the way through. And then now it's time to slip in these clips here. And on mine, for some reason, the lock symbol was on the back side. That seems backwards, but that's where they were. And that's it for the mod. Now all that remains is cool, refreshing, quiet enjoyment of the Bonaire window fan.